So Be'ez HaShem Yisbarach, we uh, are going to learn the last Omud of Masechta Mo'ed Katan, Mekasim on the Masechta. We're starting at the last few words on Daf Chofches Omud Be'ez. Omer Abchanine, Abchanine said, Koshe Yitzies Neshame Menagof. It's difficult for a Neshame to be separated from the body. Kitzipuri Bifi Aveshet. Like this knot that's tied with the rope on, the, uh, on, the sh- on, the, on a boat. And you have the, the, I think it's called a mast on the boat. And they tie a knot there. And the knot goes through a hole. And then it's very hard to take it out. So that's the difficulty of separating a neshama from a guf. Rabbi Yechen and Omar, Rabbi Yechen is that similar. Kipituri bifi veshit. It's like this knot of the rope that's tied, that ties two boats together. So also apparently this is a knot that's tied and it's placed inside a hole in a way that it's very hard to maneuver it out. Another thing that he said, that haniftar minames, a person that's departing from someone that passed away. You should not say to him, that you should go to peace. Rather, you should say to him, go with peace. Someone that is departing from someone that's alive and he's leaving. You should not say to him, go with peace. He should tell him, go to peace. So the, the Mepharshim explained, this is in the Mepharshim of the Ein Yaakov and in other places, that a person that's passing away has fulfilled his life's mission and he's already in a place of peace. And therefore we say with, to him, go with peace, go with that peace that you've accomplished. The sh- peace and Shalom is also Melosh Shlemus. Whatever Shlemus you've accomplished in your life, you should go with that. Whereas a person that's still alive and he's traveling and going somewhere, so he still has more to accomplish. So therefore we tell him, go to peace, go to that wherever, whichever new place you're going to and continue your mission in this world to achieve and bring more peace to yourself or into the world. So the Gemara brings the source for this. Hanifta menamei, someone that departs from someone that passed away, you should not tell him, go to peace. Go with peace. Shenemar, it says in the Pasik, Va'ata Tovoy El Avisecha Bishalim. And you will come together with your forefathers, Bishalim, with peace. This is uh, talking over there by um who's this Pasik by him? Uh, by by, by Avram Avinu or by Yitzchak Avinu? Ah? By, by Avram Avinu. Okay, so it says Bishalim, referring to him when he when he passes away. If you're departing from a person that's alive, do not tell him to go with peace. Rather, you tell him to go to peace. David, when he said to his son of Shalom, go, go with peace. So he used a term that's used for a person that's passing, that's passed away already. What happened? He left him and he got hung. So he passed away. He used, he used that term for a person that, that passed away. Yisra, Sha'amal Moshe, Yisra, he said to Moshe when he left him to go to Mitzrayim, Leich, Lishalim, so he used the term go to peace, Halach Vitzliach. He went and succeeded. What greater success than what Moshe Rabbeinu succeeded? So, to Gemara Vamar Ablevi, Ablevi said, Kolayaitzemi Beis Aknesses, Lebeis Amedrish, a person that leaves the Beis Aknesses, which is the place for davening, and he goes from there, Lebeis Amedrish, to learn. And then, he goes back from learning to the shul to daven again. So he's to come and receive the revelation of the face of the Shechina. Shenem, as the Pasuk says, when you go from strength to strength, referring to this, that a person goes from the shul to the Beis Medrash and back to the shul. So then, you will see the revelation of the Ebeshter and Tzion in Yerushalayim. Omer Abchiyeh Bar Ashi, Omer Rav, Abchiyeh Bar Ashi said in the name of Rav, Talmidei Chachamim, Ein Lehem Menucha, the Talmidei Chachamim have no peace, Afilu Lo'ilam Abba, even in the world to come. Shenemar, as the Pasuk says, Yeilchu Mechayel El Chayel, the Talmidei Chachamim go from strength to strength, Yehiroa El Elekim B'Tziyayin, and they see the Ebeshter B'Tziyayin, Lo'asad Lo'avai. Hadran Alach, Ve'elu Megalchen, Eslikol HaMesechta Ma'it Katnin. So before we say the Hadran Allah over here, so there's a Hadran from the Rebbe on the Masechta. A few times the Rebbe made a Hadran on this Masechta. It's also the same, basically, simple, very similar end to Masechta Brochus. So the Rebbe was Medayik a few things. 
The first thing is, in our Gemara here it says, Talmidei Chachamim ein lem menucha. So the Rebbe brings, this is in Chelek Tezvav, a Sicha Fachov Cheshven. So there the Rebbe brings that there's another Gersa in the Gemara. Instead of Talmidei Chachamim, the Gersa is Tzadikim ein lem menucha. What's the difference? So the Rebbe explains, Talmidei Chachamim refers to the learning of Teira. Tzadikim refers to doing mitzvahs. What it's saying is, and according to Argus, what it's saying is, that when you learn Teira, the Teira is endless. It's, it's bleakvul. As we see, Teira is, is, is no end in, in the depth and the levels of learning Teira. And therefore what it's saying is that, Eilem Menuche, even Lo Eilem Abba, that the Tzadikim learn in this world Teira, they learn Teira in Gan Eden, and they go higher and higher in their learning of Teira. But if the Gersa is Tzadikim, Eilem Menuche, so then that refers to mitzvahs. And what it's saying is that in the mitzvahs, it's also... In, in, when you fulfill a mitzvah, even though every individual mitzvah has a particular meaning and inyan of what that mitzvah is, but the essence of the mitzvah is the Ratzon of Hashem, which is unlimited. And that's something also which the, the tzaddikim never have any menucha. And the Rebbe says, according to this, a very interesting thing, two pshatim the Rebbe says, because the question is, the we know that when the tzaddikim go on to Gan Eden, so there, what do they do? They learn Teireh there. There's no inyan of Kiyama mitzvahs in Gan Eden. So, when, according to our Gersa, when it says Talmidei Chachomim, we could understand what it means, Ein Lein Menuche, because Tzadikim Taka continue learning Teireh in Gan Eden. But how can you say the Gersa that Tzadikim Ein Lein Menuche, once Tzadikim come Lamaila, there's no more of Kiyam and Mitzvahs. So over there they have Menuche from this obligation of fulfilling Mitzvahs. So the Rebbe says two pshatim. One pshat the Rebbe says is that according to that Gersa, it refers to Lasud Lavai. After Tchiyas HaMesim, then the, the Nisham has come back into this world, and then there'll be Mekayim Mitzvahs again on a much higher level. Another Pshat the Rebbe brings a unique thing from the, from the Rebbe Rashab. The Rebbe Rashab writes in his Tzavo, which is called Chanoich Lenar. He writes there that even though it's true that it always says that Lamayla, the Tzadikim and Ganeiden, learn Taira all day, and there's no Indian of Kiyam and Mitzvahs there, but he says Tzadikim G'daylim do have an Indian of Kiyam and Mitzvahs even in Ganeiden. And therefore, according to that Gersa, it says Tzadikim Eila and Menucha, referring even to the Tzadikim and Gan Eden. Very interesting. Then, there's another Hadron from the Rebbe, which was printed in Tavshin and Beis, for the yard site of the Rebetzin, of Beishvat, 30 years ago. So there's a very, very Geshmaka Hadron, Ba'arichis Gedayla, where the Rebbe explains the seam of Masech Tamayit Katan. And there the Rebbe says that if you look here in the Gemara, there's a very interesting thing. It says, Kalayaitzim mi Beis HaKnesses le Beis HaMedrish. And then it says again, Umi beis medrish le beis knesses. So the Rebbe asks, what is this? Usually, it, it, it usually doesn't say this, Lashen. If you look in Gemara Brachas, it says the same Maim Chazal, but it just says, Ayyatim mi beis knesses le beis medrish. What's the say that Vayid's learning? He starts with davening, and then there's learning, and then he goes to, uh, to his day, to the work. So why does it here say that he goes back from the beis medrish back to the beis knesses? What is this Indian? So the Rebbe's Masber, that what we're talking about over here, this union of Yetzim Yves Eknesses Lebes Medrish, is connected to the next statement of Talmid Chachomim Ein Lam Menucha. And the Rebbe's Masber, that in this union of Talmid Chachomim Ein Lam Menucha, there are two different levels. It's brought over here, and it's also brought in the Gemara Brachas, but it's not exactly the same. There's one union of Talmid Chachomim Ein Lam Menucha, which is the point that I mentioned before. That when, you, when you learn Teira, there's endless levels of, in your understanding in Teira that you can go higher and higher. That's one Indian. But then the Rebbe says there's another Indian. When a Yid learns Taira, a Yid has a Kayach to be Mechadish in Taira. You see this? This is a special Kayach that a Yid could be Mechadish and innovate and say new ideas in Taira. That's a much deeper Indian. That a Yid, the Shairish of who a Yid is, and when he learns Taira, is able to be Maisif and be Mechadish in Taira. And that's another aspect of the Ein Lam Menucha. When a person learns Taira with the Kayach of his Neshama, he's able to bring into the Taira, he could be Mamshech into the Taira, new Chedushim in the Taira. And the Lashon of Chazal is that Kol Mashatamet Vosik Asad Lachadish Nitn Lamoishem Isinai. So even though it says Nitn Lamoishem Isinai, but it's Lachadish. Every Yid can be Mechadish and Teira. So the Rebbe says in the Gemara in Brachis it says a Yid goes mi Beis Haknesas and then he goes to the Beis Hamedrash to learn Teira. And over there in the Beis Hamedrash a Yid learns Teira. And then the Gemara there says that Tamid Chacham Ein Lam Menucha. The Lashon of the Gemara over there is Loi Ba'ila Mazeh. That's what it says in Brachas. A Yid learns Taita in this world on one level, and then you come to Elam Abba, you learn Taita on a higher level. In our Gemara though, in the end of Ma'id Katan, the Gemara is talking about a deeper Indian. Not only the fact that a Yid could learn and understand levels in Taita deeper and deeper, but the fact that the Shaitish of the Nisham of a Yid is even higher than Taita. And when a Yid learns Taita, it could be Maisif and Mechadish in Taita. And where, where does this come out? By the Gemara adding that after he goes to the Beis HaMedrish, he goes back to the Beis HaKnesses. 
That's telling you that when a Yid learns Taira, he goes back to the Shul to Davin because the Kesher of a Yid to the Eibishter in his Davining is even higher than the Limud Taira. So he goes back to the Beis HaKnesses. And therefore, when the Gemara finishes off over here and says, Tamid HaChachamim Eilem Menucha, the Lashon of the Gemara is, Afilu Leilem Abba. It doesn't talk about the Limud HaTair and Eilem Hazeh and an Eilem Abba. The Rebbe says, when it says, Afilu Leilem Abba, what this means is even in the latest time period of after Mashiach comes, there's different Tkufas. There's the first Tkufa, then there's Tchiyas HaMesim, and then there's, even in the latest time period of Eilem Abba, Eilem Menucha. Why not? The Rebbe brings there that it says in other places that La Lava, it's going to be called Yom Shekulay Shabbos Menucha L'chai Elamin. There will be a time of Menucha. Elamai, the Pshat is, yes, it will be a time of Menucha. But even there, in this time of Menucha, there is the Shadish of a Yid, which is higher than Teireh. The Teireh itself is going to be in a level of Menucha. But there's the Shadish of a Yid that's even higher than that. And that's what the Gemara means here. The Afilu Lailam Abba refers to the Shadish of a Yid that's higher than Teireh, that will always be massive even more in Teireh in the connection to the Eivishter. And the Rebbe Taishis, this is really what the Pasuk means. Yecho Mechayel Ochoyel, Yero El Elekim B'Tziyein, Yero El Elekim is referring to the Yid. The revelation of the Giloy, of the Shairish, of the Neshama of a Yid, that's even higher than Teire itself. That's the Remez, in, uh, in, in, connected to what it said before, the Beis HaKnesses, that you go back to the Beis HaKnesses. Okay, that's another Nekudah, the Meir Degevar, to the Rebbe's Hadran. Okay, Mazel Tov and the Sima, the Mesechta.